Tomorrow night's Cotton Bowl matchup between the Spartans and Crimson Tide will certainly be more exciting than watching paint dry. The finishing touches being made here on the field at AT&T Stadium and the picture that was painted at the Omni Hotel in downtown Dallas early this morning, which does serve as the media hotel for the Cotton Bowl, was one of more controlled chaos as media members from here to Pluto were able to fire questions at the respective coaches and even talk to the voices who will be calling tomorrow night's action. Everyone clearly knowing what's exactly at stake for this one. A national championship means a lot to any program, uh, but from my perspective, I think it means the most to the players. And most coaches um, are really excited for the opportunity that the players have created for themselves by the hard work and commitment that they've made. As I said earlier when I first my first statement, it was a great challenge. It was a great opportunity to be here today, but it'll be a great challenge. We'll need to be on our best, uh, play at our best, because our best is going to be needed here. Mark D'Antonio deserves all the credit because as a Big Ten guy growing up in that region, Michigan State was always a program that, even when Nick Saban was there, he was looked at as a, or the program was looked at as a team that one week could be great, could beat anybody, the next week they could lose to anybody. To be able to predict that when he first got there, to be able to change 50 or 60 years of a football program to where it is now, I, I wouldn't have been able to predict that. And we'll find out. That's what I think the fascinating aspect of this game is, is it's, it's not about hyper-speed offenses executing the spread. It's about, you know, consistent, pounding, test of will and who's still standing in the third and fourth quarter. And, it, and if I knew the answer, I, I'd move to Vegas, but I, I can't wait to find out the answer. Whatever happens around midnight tomorrow will either add to the 2016 celebrations for Spartan fandom or leave the fan base with a bad taste in its mouth, one that certainly won't compare to that of champagne. However the chips may fall, be sure to keep it locked to WKAR.org for our post-game coverage of the Cotton Bowl. I'm Al Martin here in Arlington, Texas at AT&T Stadium for WKAR's Current Sports.